Ellis family road trip on our way to Virginia. Time for the rules and regulations. Young lady, rule number one, do not touch my radio because you're about to fall asleep. How I get a rule number one? I'm not going to fall asleep. You're about to fall asleep and I'm not trying to hear a duet of Beyonce and you snoring all the way to Virginia. Don't disrespect Understand? Don't Understood. Disrespect rule number two. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You, no. Rolly. No, yeah. he's, he's agreeing with me. Whatever. Rule number two. Anybody got to use the bathroom? <laughs> All right, so when I pull off, if you say that you got to use the bathroom, I'm going to pull back over and stop and leave you exactly where we are. Understood? Yes, sir. Exactly. Rule number three, do not spill anything in the car. If you spill anything in the car, I'm going to pull over. I'm going to leave you exactly where we are. Understood? Yes, sir. All right. Rule number four, no fighting. If I hear any fighting, I'm going to close all the TVs, all the electronics, and we're going to sing hymns all the way to Virginia. Now behold the Lamb. And finally... Rule number five, do not ask me if we are there yet while we're still driving. Because if we were there, we don't play with me. We Now behold, that's what I thought, no hymns. If we're still driving, we will not be there yet. Understood? Yes, yes, sir. Everybody have fun, including you, all right, Sleeping Beauty? Yes, Thanks. Sir. Let us pray. Pray for us, please. All right. Road tripping. We've been in the car about an hour now and the fake cry has commenced oh Cairo there's nowhere for you to go bro there's nowhere for you to go so you might as well cut it out no matter you go you know where you can go you can go to sleep no you don't want to go to sleep Aiden why is your seatbelt not on bro where's your seatbelt it's on it's on oh okay just making sure these kids spoil man when we used to road trip me and Kate in college all up and down 9-5. Going to Virginia, King's Dominion, the Poconos. Mm -hmm. We ain't had no Google Maps, no TVs. We literally had a map. Paper maps. Paper maps. Can used to be up there like... I used to print the map quest out and then, you know, mm -hmm. ride with it. Where's Cairo's pillow? Stop throwing your pillow away. Your brothers are going to be tired of getting She used to put the, the odometer on zero, and then we would go through the map, see how the biologist oh, made did. the turn. Remember that? We were, remember. we were smart. We were smart. We were smart. Straight mathematicians up in you here. You know what I'm saying? You know, looking out for the police, making sure I was looking Doing ahead. a buck 20. Before Waze was Waze, it was oh, K's. Popo no popo. <laughs> it was K's. I see what you did there. You like what I did there? It popo no popo no popo. Hit it. Yeah. Now we got kids in the back. We're doing a smooth 60. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People honking us. Go around. Go around. You got somewhere to go? Go around. We're not going over 60. Oh, we're not going nowhere. Got babies 60. in the back. Sorry. Yeah, so it might take us about a good eight hours. Yeah, yeah. You know? You know eight but we're going to get there safely. That is the biggest part. Watching Aladdin. What do you need, Cairo? It's playing? What's playing? Yeah. Good, good. All right, we're watching Aladdin. Watching Aladdin. Hey, we get to. Hey. <laughs> Party my shop again. <laughs> yeah. What? How does she sing? Kids. Oh my god. They're impressionable. Um, my eyelids are getting heavy though. I don't know if y'all can tell. Dude, I was up early finishing with the packing. Here she goes. But my Beyonce. No excuses. My Beyonce's not playing, so I'm gonna stay up. And we're gonna sing the Aladdin soundtrack for you guys as the, as, as the movie plays. Arabian nights, like Arabian days. <laughs> this is one of my favorite movies. Hopefully, I, this will make time go faster. Let me tell you something. When this movie come out, Will Smith playing the genie. Nobody better talk to me this whole movie, bro. I yes. saw everything. Somebody interrupt me during this movie. Yeah, it's going home. Yep. In an Uber. Please, come closer. Yep. <laughs> you, you good. I send them on the train. I don't put nobody in no Uber. She just started taking the train with me. Her parents never let her take the train. Yeah. Ooh. My parents were like, I'm going to drop you here. Go from there. I appreciated it now. Then I was like, no, I want to be my friends. I want to be on the train. I like the train. I want to be on the bus. No traffic. Nah. Yeah. Mad entertainment on the train. Whether you like it or not. Like it's forced entertainment. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shaq Weave. I'm here selling candy. I could be out robbing people. I'm trying to make an earnest living selling candy for my basketball team. A train, baby. I know what it is. That's what it is. Nostrum in Midtown. Yeah. Bye. Take my again. Hey, hey. So 
in the middle of the ride, I have to stop for a snuggle break. Kaz just wants to snuggle, so I had to get out. And we're at a rest stop, so he can have some snuggle time with mommy, right? He needed a snuggle time. So this is why I wanted to leave like late night. I normally like to leave around 9 p.m. and drive. So that way the kids can sleep in the car. Or leave at like 4 a.m. so that they're just waking up when we get there. Um, I hate driving during the day with the kids. So this is Kaz's first road trip. Yeah. Um, this is Cairo's second or third. Um, and being with Jackson, it was always better when we travel late with them. But, you know, with our podcast launch today and everything else we had going on and just being tired, um, we postponed the leaving until, we didn't leave home until about 2 or 2.30, so, yeah. It's going to take us longer to get there just because of traffic, which hasn't been bad, actually. Um, traffic and then having to stop because Kaz doesn't want to be in the seat, so... Right, Cassie? Mm -hmm. He needs some time to just hang out. Alright, go ahead, bud. Go ahead. Stretch your legs because you got to get back in your seat soon, okay? Alright. 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 Good job. Good job. Blow kiss. Blow kiss. Mm -hmm. Aww. Good job. Bathroom run. Gotta get the boys' rights. All right? Stop! Nobody touch anything in this bathroom except yourself. You got it? Sir, yes, sir. Break, go ahead. Don't touch nothing except yourself. Go. That was for those kids. I don't even know you, kid. Don't touch nothing but yourself, like I said. Go ahead. Gotta make sure they stay sanitary. Job well done, guys. Yeah. Y'all want something to eat, something to drink? Yeah. What do you want? Like Kyra, you cannot get a Red Bull. What y'all want? <laughs> they got some snacks over here. They got chips and some candy. We got four more hours to go. We got three and a half, to be exact. Don't eat all your candy or your chips, okay? Yes, teach your brother. You can't eat all the candy and chips. You gotta. You gotta level it out, you know what I'm saying? You gotta ration it to last gotta, the whole ride. You gotta eat, you gotta eat a pearl amount. Yes, you got a perfect amount. What amount? A perfect amount. Perfect amount. Bathroom run, completes with Slurpees, baby. See the Slurpees? Come on, Rowie. You okay? Got coke to top it off. Hey, let's go, everybody. Pay attention. We crossing the street. Let's go. Come on, ducklings. Come on, ducklings. Come on. Mommy's gonna be like, why you got them all that sugar? Cause this is what we do. We enjoy ourselves. Mm hmm Go ahead. Oh my god, why did you get them such big ones? Didn't I tell y'all she was gonna say that? I told you she was gonna say that, right? That's mad sugar. Yeah. Didn't I say she was gonna say that? I told y'all she was gonna say that. They'll be all right. They're gonna yeah. be all right, gentlemen, right? Well, let me drive so you can tackle them in the back then. Fine. It's gonna be another potty break and they're gonna be bouncing off. Fine the then. Now I'm gonna have to detox yeah. them when they get home. Fine then. Go ahead. You ready to go, Wowie? This one? You gave this one the extra large joint? He was gonna split it with you. Likely story. Yeah. Look at these guys. I come back and now Kaz is down in the whole Slurpee with DeVal. They're gonna be him, so wired. Ooh, ooh. Look at him. He's gonna be happy in the car though. Look at you. He was crying before, that's why we stopped. Now look at how happy he is. He was crying because he wanted some cuddles. No, he was crying because he wanted some slurps. He wanted Pulls. cuddles. He wanted cuddles. You're making that boy so. He did. As soon as you pulled over, I want some cuddles. I took him out. He was just. Can I have some cuddles? Snuggling. Yeah, you're gonna need some snuggling after this ride. I'm gonna need some snuggling before the ride. <laughs> I know it was coming. You see, I paused waiting for it, right? It was too easy. I know, I know. Just set up. Come on, you get in the back. 
Let me get us going there. I hit you with the, uh, what they call it in basketball terms, when I give you the, the ball assist. and then you, the assist. There you go. On the road again. On the road again. Seems like we on the road again. On the road again. All right, Cassie, back in the seat. He like, yeah. Cassie's like, hell no. Good, let me close you in there. Prince Ali, Ali, see Ali, Ababwa. The kids are sleeping. Down on one knee. Now try your best to stay calm. Rush up your Sunday salon. Then come and meet a spectacular for me. Prince Ali, Ali, see Ali, Ababwa. I was trying to listen to Beyonce. Strong as tender young men. He's just listening to the movie like it's a soundtrack. A hundred bad guys with swords. <laughs> I love that part though. Lord, Lord, Prince Ali. Seventy-five golden camels. Fabulous, baby. I love the feathers. Like camels. Are you done? No hands, baby. Oh, no. All right. We are about to turn into Nanny and Papa John's house. Yeah. We're turning in. Yeah. Cairo, Cairo, Cairo. Really? I can't wait to get out this I don't know. You already unbuckled yourself? Oh, here we go. Alright, he be shocked. Shocked. Shot. 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 We're here. We are all the way in the sticks in Let's the middle go. of the woods. Like in the middle of the woods. Let's go. In the middle, middle of the woods. Where's, where's your shoes? Yeah. Where's your shoes? It was a long eight hours having to stop. Take the kids out to stretch. Put them back in the car seat, take them out of the car seat, back in the car seat. I almost Kyra was throwing everything around here. So Yo, we're here. Back here look like a cyclone hit it. Yeah, the back of the car is trashed. But we made it, baby. You did it. I did it. It smells like the woods. Don't it? I love the smell down here. Come on, let's we're go. here. I look like hell, but you know. That's eight hours on the road with the kids. Yeah, we're here. Yay, Nanny and Papa John. Oh, we have two. What happened to you? Who knows? Hey! Hey! What's up? Did you land on the runway? Cassie, like, what's going on, partner? Come here, Sugar Blue. Come here, Sugar Blue. Come on, man. Let me. See, I ain't get, I ain't get no loving from you. He trying, she trying to run. He trying to run. What's up, Papa John? trying to run. Hey, buddy. My nanny, guys. That's my mom's mom. There we go. Wow. Nanny fixing the boo boo. Fixing the Nanny's fixing the boo boo. Oh, Is that bad? See, my grandmother old school. She don't play those games. Oh, the boo boo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Stop being a phony, punk. Stop being a phony. Yeah. The crocodile tears. What you looking at, Cass? Don't you be eyeballing my nanny. Get tossed up around already? here. Look at that. Look at the fake crowd. That boy been that faker since he was born. <laughs> so it. dramatic, Whoa. nanny. Where does he get that from? So. It was that? Was that shade? <laughs> was, was that shade you throwing this way? It runs in the family. See, even nanny said it runs in the family. Yeah, your side. The Joseph <laughs> side. Definitely not. Look, look, look. He's perfectly so, fine. You have your talking though? Fake it, that boy. Fake. Just now, he was just screaming bloody murder. <laughs> time for bed soon. Yeah, time for bed. Time for bed soon. All right, y'all. So you know how I always have packages that I'm trying to hide from the vow. Well, I have two weeks of travel coming up back to rack. I'm going from DC to from Virginia to DC to Memphis um, to LA and then to New York. And 
I needed some shoes, but I know I wasn't going to get them in time in New York, so I had them shipped to DeVal's grandparents' house. But I had to have his grandfather hold them down for me in the garage until I got here, so DeVal couldn't necessarily see the package. I mean, the good thing is that with Shoe Dazzle, I'm a VIP member, so I get like 30 to 50% off the shoes anyway, and free shipping. Can't beat that. However, <laughs> I know once DeVal sees those boxes, he's going to be like, again, Kadeem? But I'm like, hey, it was one less thing for me to pack from New York. I can just put them in my suitcase and take them to where I have to go. So now I have to retrieve the packages from Papa John. So I'm about to see, because the valve's inside. So I'm about to go meet Papa John outside by the garage to see if he can get me my boxes. <laughs> PJ. Yeah, baby, what's up? What's up? Everybody say hi to PJ. Hey, what's going so, on? So you know that little box that came here for me? Yeah, yeah, it's in the garage, baby. It is? Yeah, man. All right. I, got, I got you. you know. All right, good, all right, good, good. Right. Go to the garage. Come Oh, uh, uh, yeah, don't, no, don't turn <laughs> your face around. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I mean, you know, Papa you, John. You was gonna yeah, baby, no, what? Don't, don't, yeah, don't what? say Papa I John. Thought he, I thought she did a better job hiding them. You're going to ask my Papa John to lie to me. <laughs> to me, I'm number one. It wasn't just a lie. It was more one. like it just keep it to the side. But no, it's no keep. Keep it to the side. You got three. How you ordered three pair of shoes to come to my grandparents' house? It was a couple more, but I. Papa John, she got a problem. <laughs> I understand, but. She got a problem. Don't you want me to be in trend and stylish at these events these next two weeks yeah do any of these shoes are the shoes that i like that you wear there's some heels in there high ones high ones Papa John know oh, oh, high oh, ones. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. i'm gonna see i'm gonna see yeah. if there ain't no high heels in there there's yeah, high problem. ones baby <laughs> Boy, give me uh, give me my shoes why well, i can't my, give me my shoes you ain't low go ahead go ahead my shoes <laughs> thank you fall. pj you, you tried you right. tried you better not fall Let's go look at my hall. Let me get the other ones too. Let me get the other ones too. All right, that was a close one. <laughs> so right now, if you use the link in our bio, you can get your first style for just $10. That's like 70% off of the normal price, okay? So make sure you sign up, do the VIP quiz, enter your email, and start looking at shoes. I think the best place to start is sandals for the summertime. Okay? And you can get everything for a good price. That way you don't have to do like me and have it ship places and you have to go pick it up in other states. <laughs> okay, so now that I got some of my haul in the house, I can take a look at my goods in peace. Um, one thing I will recommend that helped me a lot with Shoe Dazzle in the beginning was making sure that you take the VIP member quiz. So when you take the quiz, it'll help to style you with different shoes that they think you may like each month. But make sure you put your email address in. That is super important because then you get automatic updates to your email to let you know, hey, I think you'll like this shoe or that shoe that they have in stock. I particularly like to browse, browse the site by either the type of shoe, so looking at either sandals, heels, sneakers, whatever you may need at that time. Um, also, new arrivals is nice because it keeps you on trend with what's like happening in the shoe world. Make sure to click the link in my description to get your first Shoe Dazzle style for only $10. That's 70% off your purchase using my link below if you sign up as a VIP. Shoe Dazzle is a one-stop shop for affordable and trendy shoes. And if you're new to Shoe Dazzle and don't know where to start, be sure to start at New Arrivals or Best Sellers.